Hello, welcome to another episode of Optic Straight Roundtable. We have two night vision devices here on the table and today we're going to talk basically about the novelties in 2020 in this particular field. Uh, there is a strange year behind us, I think that you both agree. For yeah, this purpose, definitely. for safety reasons, we're also wearing masks today. Hopefully next year we won't have to wear it when yeah. we film this format. Let's hope at, uh, <laughs> at the end of 2021 that it's going to be a better year and we'll be able to talk without yeah. masks. Hopefully also in terms of fares, because uh, in last year no fares were, uh, were uh, introduced, only the SHOT Show in Vegas, because the COVID-19 was not fully in swing at that time. But 2021, everything was cancelled. So EVA, uh, the SHOT Show in Vegas, it was cancelled. 2021 also, uh, 2022 only. Yeah. Let's hope, Let's hope that the fares will be too. back, because I really miss them. Yeah, it's week. a great opportunity to hang around with friends there yeah. and with your and to see all the new products because yeah. honestly speaking i think that there would be more new products on the table new more new novelties if there will be a normal year yeah. so everybody waited at least in europe that they will present the new products at eva then it was first postponed to september and in september it was cancelled so I think that there are probably some new products which were never shown to the public. Sure. And those which were on this table only new part and some accessories for the forward, and they were all introduced digitally. It was just like yeah. online presentation. Yeah. I think we I also guess. have to point out that uh, thermal is a little bit more on the rise than the night yeah. vision. Night vision currently is a little bit... Silence is in this field. Yeah, with digital night it, vision yeah. there are some progress, but really not a lot of them. But with uh, analog night vision, it's just everything stopped almost. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's start with, uh, with the cheapest model on the table. Yeah, the cheapest, the part. Uh, this model was uh, introduced, I think, I think in 2019 or 18. Mm. I'm not the quite first sure. Generation. The first generation. Yeah. The first generation. But this is a new model, uh, which was, uh, I would say, improved in 2020. Basically, it looks very much like the old model, it's physically. The same, physically. Yeah, yeah except for a few minor changes. Uh, the first one is the LED uh, indicator, which flashes in, in uh, green. That means you know when the device is on and off. And the second thing is the, is the improved, uh, improved uh, display. The mm -hmm. display re resolution is better. I think it's one, 1024 uh, by 768. Mm -hmm. is, and uh, I think that also the, the laser has been made a little bit weaker. Yeah, the illuminator was changed. Yeah. 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 It's still the most affordable device on the market. It offers decent image quality. It is, however, when you mount it behind the daytime scope, if you shoot with it, you have to be careful that you do not become a pirate. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> you should only use it with, I would say, weaker calibers. Yeah. Don't mount it on anything that with a strong recoil. I yeah. think that it's 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 a good device in the sense that people get a taste of night vision because mm -hmm. it's really affordable, and the image quality is quite okay. And then majority of people, when they try part, in time they see that they need something better, something uh, more advanced, and so on. So it's a it's a good step into the world of night vision optics. Normally, for powerful calibers, you're not able to put your eye 1.5 centimeters behind the screen <laughs> and, and yeah. shoot 300 Winchester Magnum because you will lose your eye. But it does have some <coughs> interesting capabilities, such as it, you can record yeah. videos and capture images. And yeah, in, in those terms, it's actually quite advanced, as, yeah. as mentioned, yeah. video taking, uh, uh, pictures taking, but yeah, it's true. That but no wonder why it's so popular, right? Yeah, and yeah. they polished the, all the edges now with, yeah. the, with the second generation. They they fixed the minor tweaks. They did the minor tweaks and so on. Uh -huh. But still, uh, the device that totally dominates the market is the is Pulsar the... Forward. Yeah, Forward F four hundred fifty five was already introduced in two thousand nineteen. Yeah. Uh, the reason we have it on this table here is because in two thousand twenty some uh, improvements were introduced. And because it still dominates the market, yeah, even it's though it's 2019 device, it still dominates the market. Basically, no competitor made anything better in this price class. Yeah, yeah. so they, they've come up with image detail boost, which basically shook the world of night vision yeah. at that time. It improved the, the image so, so greatly that you probably, <laughs> some people thought that they have a new device in their hands. It's, it's, it's crazy how... Also, it's thermal. When Pulsar comes out with, a, with an update of software, it's like... The image quality just, yeah, it's, jumps, it just it's jumps on. Also, the new, I think that uh, the new um, 
Illuminator. Red illuminators came. Yeah, they are as an accessory, so you are able to change the standard one with, uh, I would say, more specific uh, illuminators, which have different wavelengths of their beam and so on. Have different. Yeah, the the update came in two thousand and twenty. Uh, mm -hmm. So the image detail boost now. Yeah, the image is better. Uh, you are also able to to hear the sound. The audio is available now. Yeah, now yeah. it's audio is available, and you are able to pause the uh, the, the video. Yeah, you are also able to video, pause yeah. the video. Yeah, so you can only it. capture the moments that you think mm -hmm. are important. Yeah, and then yeah. skip the rest. Yeah. Okay, what is happening also in in I think what was the biggest news of this year, but we are not allowed to sell those products in our country, is the Pulsar di uh, Digix. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Uh, I think this is the future of rifle scopes. I don't know, five, ten years onwards, at least in the hunting specter. So, really similar uh, sensor software and so on, but in the shape of a normal conventional rifle And And they started that story with the Thermion, right? Yeah. You can yeah. mount it with 30 millimeter rings, just like the standard rifle scope, so really aesthetic. Yeah, and really beautiful. Elegant, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, so F455 <coughs> for markets which prohibit the use of uh, night vision rifle scopes and the di di Digix which allows those uh, yeah. those uh, It is true that some people still prefer for daytime use the normal classical scope and yeah. their combination of a normal classical scope and uh, forward unit is better than just standalone uh, night vision rifle scope. It is true that with Digix and similar you can expect that they will become better in low light situation than the classical analog rifle scopes even without the illuminators very soon. Mm. Even now the sensors are so sensitive that even with a F455 you're able to use it, uh, let's say, when there is moonshine or something similar uh, without any illuminator yeah. and you see. And they're you improving the, the algorithms yeah. all the yeah. time, right? Yeah. It's, uh, it's actually very interesting because um, um, the people who already have the, the conventional rifle scope mounted, mm -hmm. they can simply, the, the Digix has 30 mil tube, they can simply, if they have the high enough rings, they can simply install the digits on it, yeah. and that's it. It's the story is that for the whole world, the digits was the biggest news of this year. Definitely, yeah. In our part of the world or in our country, it's a problem because we are not allowed to sell it. This is the reason why don't, we don't have it on our table. Uh, but anybody who is interested into this field heard about digits and probably saw it. And for now, it really doesn't have much competitors. It would be equally well designed, would offer equal quality and so on. Mm. So again, something first for Pulsar. And this is basically it. We're already at the, uh, yeah. the very end of this video. We can conclude that uh, basically in the field of night vision, the prices keep on going down and the improvements keep on going up. Yeah, the quality so, is uh, yeah. better and better. And as we said at the beginning, analog vision, night vision is slowly dying and the digital night vision is coming. I think the that what will happen is front. that analog Gen 2 Plus will be replaced by Thermal. Mm. And the analog Gen 1 and similar will be replaced by, by digital. And then, I don't know, 10 years from now, we will just jump into Fusion. I remember it's um, it's quite a big market in terms of uh, it was, or at least it is in uh, analog uh, in analog night vision binoculars. Yeah, the market sure. was very big. Uh, perhaps this is some some of what a, a lackluster because we don't have any models here no. at this moment. And also with digital uh, night vision binoculars, there is almost no products, no yeah. new products. No new there no. is only ATN, Bino X, uh, and I think this is a great shame mm -hmm. because we know from the demand that uh, the demand for uh, digital night vision binoculars is huge. It's even still for the analog night vision binoculars Gen One below 1,000 euros, it's a huge market. So it's a shame that no manufacturer is doing it. I guess that they're exactly. all just tempted by the thermal yeah. night vision, True. thermal vision, yeah. And but yeah. still, still. You yeah. know, the, the prices were very affordable with the binoculars, with mm. the analog uh, night vision. They were very affordable customers were looking very much into it, but as we mentioned, we don't have any <laughs> on the market. I, I'm sure that if we would have, let's say, uh, digital night vision binoculars for 800, 900, 1000 euros in this segment, they would sell like crazy. Yeah, sure. I, I'm definitely sure. sure. If we, on the quality level of, let's say, forward, mm. 455. Mm. That's it, yeah? That's it. Thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe, and see you next time. Goodbye. Take care. Bye.